people remain hospital this morning following yesterday's trans-Tasman flight from Sydney to Auckland where a sharp drop injured around 50 passengers and crew. The airline is blaming a technical event. Live to New Zealand correspondent Jack Nyhoff who's following developments. Jack, a passenger has described to Sky News the chaos on board. Yeah, some deeply distressing scenes and speaking of the latest developments here in just the last minute, an update from New Zealand Health Authorities. A patient has just been released from hospital within the last half an hour. Four patients now remain in Auckland hospitals following this incident. We can confirm that four Australians were on board flight LA800 from Sydney Airport to Auckland Airport yesterday. Passengers say they felt a sharp drop with crew and those not wearing seatbelts sent flying into the cabin roof. This video shows that aftermath, including what appears to be a passenger lying on the floor, appearing to be unresponsive. Sky News has been speaking to passengers on that flight this morning. Immediately I saw mobile phones and people floating near the roof and um, then within a second, everything came crashing down to the ground and everybody just started screaming and crying and um, um, asking for medical assistance, which wasn't really provided by the, um, the flight crew. This incident yesterday afternoon sparking a large-scale emergency response by paramedics sending 14 units to Auckland Airport. They treated around 50 patients. 12 patients and crew were hospitalised. The airline says three crew members went to hospital yesterday or overnight. One person was in a serious condition. As I say, four patients now remain in Auckland Hospital this morning. One passenger directly behind me um, was in the toilet. Um, when it happened and he came back with a bloody head and said that he went straight through the roof. Uh, I was praying that the pilots would take us to safety. Lucas also reporting the kinds of injuries he saw in the cabin. He says there's a lot of head injuries, back injuries. He also said several people needed neck braces. Now, we have heard from LATAM Airline this morning as well. They've released a fresh statement. They say flight LA800 operating the Sydney to Auckland route, carrying 263 passengers and nine flight and cabin crew members, experienced what they call a strong shake during the flight. They say that the cause is currently under investigation. It is worth noting that previously they blamed it on a technical event in their past statement. They say the airline, LATAM Airlines, priority is to support passengers and crew. They've apologised for the inconvenience and discomfort caused to these passengers. They've also reiterated their commitment to safety as well. Everybody cheered, everybody applauded and everybody was sighing um, sighs of relief. It was, it was a magic moment. Now you can really hear the relief there from Lucas when that flight finally touched the ground and those on board were able to receive that medical treatment. This was obviously quite distressing for a number of people. Authorities say they were gathering information this morning to decide if they'll launch a more formal investigation into what exactly caused that technical event on this Boeing 787 aircraft. In a new incident involving Boeing, a United Airlines plane lost a tire mid-air on Thursday while taking off from San Francisco. United said the Boeing B777-200 jet was carrying 249 people on its way to Japan. According to the carrier, it made a safe emergency landing at Los Angeles International Airport, where the authorities could be seen inspecting the plane and the tire that fell off. Reports say the wheel fell into an airport parking lot and that no one was injured. It happened the same day as the U.S. Transport Agency's report on another incident aboard a United Airlines Boeing flight in early February. It involved a Max 8 jet's rudder pedals being stuck while trying to land at New Jersey's Newark Airport. According to the agency's investigation, the captain said the pedals were stuck in neutral as they were trying to keep the plane on the runway centerline. No one was injured, according to the report. Boeing said it worked with United to diagnose what happened, saying, quote, The issue was successfully resolved with the replacement of three parts and the airplane returned to service last month.
The plane maker has been under scrutiny in recent months after a mid-air cabin panel blowout on a 737 MAX 9 jet early January. The U.S. Federal Aviation Administration later told airlines using the older Boeing 737-900ER jets to inspect door plugs over unspecified issues with bolts. And last month, the FAA ordered inspections in 737 MAX airplanes for loose bolts in the rudder control systems after the plane maker recommended them in December. In a move to tackle quality control concerns, Boeing on Thursday announced an overhaul of executive and staff bonuses to focus on safety and quality. 60% of the payout will now be based on metrics of those two components for its commercial planes. It also said this year's operational goals will be exclusively focused on safety and quality.